just like circles, we can complete the square with the ellipses. Um, remember when you're completing the square, you want to group your x's together, group the y's together, correct? So we're going to start by putting the x values together. So there's 4x, and then 8x, and then we have 3y, and 6y, and I'm going to move that 5 to the other side. Okay, now notice how this time I didn't actually leave room for the completing the square. That's because there's another step that needs done first. I cannot complete the square unless the um, coefficient in front of the x squared and the y squared is 1. So we have to factor out this 4 and this 3 first. This is going to be kind of tricky. So I'm going to factor the 4 out of this part. So 4 divided out of 4x squared puts the 4 out here and 1 in here, but I don't need to write the 1. And then take the 4 out of the 8 and I get 2x. Now I'm going to leave space. I'm going to do the same thing on the y's, only this time it's a 3 that will be factored out. So then I will complete the square on that one, so I'm leaving space for that. forgot I wasn't adding, but rather equaling to 5. Okay, sorry you can't quite see all of that, right? So there we go. So now, half of 2 is 1 and 1 squared is 1, so I'm adding 1. But instead of adding 1 over here, I'm actually adding a value of 4 times 1. So I'm really actually adding a value of 4 to the left side of the problem, so I also have to add 4 to the right side of the problem. Okay? Then we do the same thing here. Half of negative 2 is negative 1, and negative 1 squared is positive 1. But rather than adding a value of 1 to the left side, I'm actually adding a value of 3 times 1, which is 3. So I also need to add 3 to that side. So it looks like that. Okay. So now we have 4 times x plus 1 squared plus 3 times y minus 1 squared equals 9 plus 3, which is 12. Okay, so this is, um, we're almost there. We just have to go through and divide everything by 12. So 4 goes into 12 3 times, so that's going to give us x plus 1 squared over 3. Plus, and then 3 goes into 12 4 times, so we'll have y minus 1 squared over 4 equals 1. So this becomes our a squared, and this is the b squared. And of course, if we're going to want to find c squared, we would have to do our little formula. c equals the square root of a squared minus b squared, right? So it would be... 4 minus 3, which is the square root of 1, which is 1. So that's kind of nice. The C is 1. Okay? Alright. Now this one's a little complicated because that makes B the square root of 3. And this one, of course, makes A the square root of 4, which is 2. So square root of 4 equals 2. Okay, so to graph this problem, we would go to the y direction, dun, 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 dun. and we would go square root of 3 the x direction, which is between 1 and 2. Square root of 3 is like, what, 1.7, I think? I don't remember. Something like that. So the ellipse is almost circular this time, but not quite. And then the foci are going to be located at 1 and negative 1. So let's uh, write down where our vertices are. They are located at 0, 2 and 0, negative 2. And then the foci are located at 0, 1 and 0, negative 1. And you know what? I just realized that I messed this up. Because, look, we have an H and a K this time. So, the center is actually not at 0, 0. Instead, we have to move this entire graph left 1 and up 1. 
Sorry about that. Let's just quickly sketch that same exact graph, but because of the plus one here to the left one, and because of the minus one here, up one. So there's our center instead. So then we're going to go up two from that point and down two from that point and left and right 1.7 that point's not as important though for our the values we have to give which is nice and then of course the foci are going to be up and and down one from the center okay so scratching what we had before let's focus in on what our values would be now so I'm going to have to write kind of small, so I'm trying to zoom in here. Vertices at negative 1, 1, 2, 3, up 3, and negative 1, down 1. And then our foci are going to be located at negative 1, up 2, and negative 1, 0. And then, of course, the center, if they want us to give that, was at negative 1, positive 1. And there, sorry, I got a little off on my videoing. But that should be our final answer right there.